your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as AC. What does the AC stand for? Addict Chic. The real innovators of fashion. Yep, they made poor hygiene sexy again. Was it ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Kurkulowicz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. I might need... See you... It's locked. Besides, I don't need... Dude, what a tune! Great, a windy road for artistic effect. No consideration for my fitness at all. I wish my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. Why? Why isn't fast travel implemented here? Oh god, I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. This is the worst. Oh, come on, stairs? No escalator? This isn't Rocky. I do not have the calves for this. Never take another person's toporganizer. It basically just locks your account immediately. I heard it from a friend. It's a compulsory tool. If only I had a marker, this would be a beautiful canvas for Felix sketches. Doug already is basically my bodyguard. I don't need this. Hello, eco-friendly bodyguard. Hello, laughable security. Well, teaching this quest for a gardening quest is... Tempting. No thanks. I've always wanted a Krush Army serrated spoon. <laughs> I totally forgot these have a press to talk button. Yes, yes. I too love butts. I could not pick up butts. This makes me sad. Hmm. I wonder if 
this works. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. I thought this was the future. I would like to purchase some space dust. Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try anything. Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble drawn on it. Bollocks! You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. I am not a cop. I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossevia. Isn't this fun? Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? Fat policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. Wait, do you think I'm fit? I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm, maybe you are right. I'm a part of a fat gangster hip-hop group. Prove it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap, rap and rap, rapping guy and, and I, uh... Uh, uh. That was terrible. I don't believe you. If I were a policeman, could I do this? Sorry, I was supposed to do something that proved I was not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. Aced it even. All right already, Jesus. This is going nowhere. I'll tell you what. If you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Whoa, isn't that pretty brutal? Psh, not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now get the hell out of here. Jesus Christ, I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ugh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard and or butt observatory. <laughs> Fingers crossed there are some local decapitations today. Incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is truly a magical moment to behold. It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for me. If I hold it too long, I better not. Sorry, paper airplane. I'm not sure it is a wise idea to pick up the man without any pants and a cone for a head. Hello, strange cone guy who I have so far successfully avoided talking to. Hello, Don Cone based humanoid. Isn't that cone crushing your face? The cone and I live as a symbiotic being, just like two cop partners starring in an 80s action slash comedy slash drama slash epic TV show. Also, yes, it is horribly painful. I really need your mannequin. 
Can I please have it? What mannequin? That one over there. All I see is my wife. You're so handsome, the cold trademark. Damn it. This is going to be harder than I expected. What is your weakness? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go around telling people my weaknesses all the time. I'll tell you my weakness when cones fly. <laughs> He's a funny guy, isn't he, Roller Manisha? Not as funny or handsome as you, though, the current trademark. I love you, darling. Me too, he he he. So, you're saying if I want to take your mannequin, um, wife's head, I would have to take advantage of your only weakness, flying cones. Have you considered having some other weakness? Maybe checkers? I'm pretty good at checkers, and it could be a very exciting minigame. What? Never mind. Laters. Hmm, I could use this for the police head. However, I don't want to find out what the cone has in its bum bag if I try anything. Hands off me, you terrible, terrible man! Stop away from my wife! When I thought he couldn't get any weirder, there we are. Jeez, someone broke my door and window. Igorshki, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? Ruff. God damn it, you're so hideously cute. I could never stay mad at you. Ruff. Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. I can't really use him for much. All he does is drink vodka and eat kubasa. More of a local drunk than a dog, really. I could if I wanted to lose some limbs, but I'm already severely deformed. I like to at least have full mobility. Then there will be none left for my fans to buy. I am... Uh, I am not very good at lying. It was a dark time trying to pay the bills. I try not to think about it. Paint thinner mixed with ethanol, essential for your everyday needs. Igorski, lunch time. He must not be hungry. Oh wait, this vodka is only 40%. I need to make it stronger somehow. What a nice asshole. He left me a note. Before doing this, I do not recommend drinking paint thinner. Unless of course you have a stomach of horrifying mutant dog. You have been warned. Igorski! Lunch time! <laughs> oh Jesus! I hope I didn't give him too much. Igorski, are you okay? Good dog. I hope he doesn't... 
like stealing candy from a comatose man who happens to run a candy shop. Everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists, you know? How many have broken down emotionally from hearing that joke so many times at dinner parties? Hey, mate. It's me, John 3000. I managed to form the connect to your headset again. Someone blocked me out last time. Weird. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Anyway, been tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound watch or something, mate. Super bonds are hot. Can, can you please leave me alone? Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Oh, that's not good. What? It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to cyber with. I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. This isn't so bad. I can live with this. Oh god, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing since I would die as well. Not too keen on dying. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, bye. It is said that touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hand smell weird from all the other people touching it. It's so hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. I can't wait to forget this in a few minutes. Ugh, I feel so dirty. After their first fall, they decided to do some remarketing. They were on all the social media. Neil Lennon even had a Let's Play channel. Until they fell again. Like, comment, and conform. Welcome to Krush Butt Observatory. It was commissioned during the neo lukewarm War as a representation of Neo-Soviet Union strength. However, in secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo. Primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were laughed out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. I, Paradigm, will kill myself because I cancelled my favorite TV show before it's time. Is probably what would I'd say if I was going to do it. Are you into pirates? I downloaded like three seasons last night. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's rendition. Cute. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the Khan has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Then ripping the head off his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working.
I am the cold. 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 Finally, my dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. Wow, that only took me 8 hours to cut through with the Krush army spoon. I was estimating at least 10. Take that Swiss army knife. Oh yes. I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. As much as I would like to use it to dress up as a sexy policeman, I should combine it with something else. My very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer. Uh, hello? Uh, I've got the, the head now. C can I, uh, can I come in now? Impressive. Stand back a bit and I'll open the gates. Well, come. Bitch. See that? <laughs> it's like the gate is talking. You've read Stephen King before, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good one. Nights, 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 nights. Sir? Sir, I've been waiting here all day. Can you please see to us? It doesn't seem like you're doing anything. Hang on, I'm doing really secretary stuff. Ting, ting, psh. Ah, all right, done. What do you need? I have a complaint. Complaint? Oh, wonderful. It's what I live for. Our son, our prodigy child that we bought on the 22nd of January 2016, is faulty. What do you mean, faulty? They aren't budget, no-name electronics that break, crushing your children's hopes and dreams on Christmas morning. They'll say, why doesn't Santa love us, Mummy? Why did he give us broken presents? Should have just bought the official one, but no, you wanted to save a few bucks. He is faulty. All right, calm down, miss. What seems to be the problem? He... he... he wants to become an artist! Jesus Christ, Mom! I'm not an artist. I'm a two-dimensional... <laughs> oh God, you see? He's tearing our family apart. Faulty! All right, all right. We've seen this before. Can you please sign these papers? And if you don't mind, little Johnny? Stand on that little circle thing over there. Hey, man! I don't conform to your ideals. Go slay some dragons, you inconsiderate pig! What if I told you that over there, on the circle there, is a gluten-free mocha papito latte? Really? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, miss. This has been a fault with the oldest line of prodigy children. Again, I apologize. Just sign the waiver here and we'll get you the replacement. The internet has taught me that I shouldn't, or should I, 
Depends on your preference, I guess. I'm pretty sure she has been exploited already. I've seen my fair share of genetically enhanced talking octopodes, but one that is an apathetic retail cashier? It is truly an honor to experience this. Hello? Welcome to Hiroshi's Corner, your friendly local drug dealing vending machine. We get you really high, and please don't die. Unless you have signed the appropriate paperwork. What is super crack? Unlike regular crack, super crack gives you superpowers. What kind of superpowers? After eating super crack, you get super euphoria. Isn't that just like a uh, regular crack? No, not according to our lawyers anyway. We also own the rights to super super crack. What about super super crack? That's something really special. Gets you high for six months straight. The hallucinations and psychosis from sleep deprivation alone is worth it. If you want it, I need at least three forms of ID, your life insurance number, and a high-res photo of your ankle. Why the last part? I'll be totally honest. I don't need the photo. I just like to see how far I can go before customers notice what I ask for. You'd be surprised. I own at least three human souls. I want... I'll come back later. Thank you. You too. Hello, drug silly man. Hello, insert name here. Refer to their name if you can. It allows you to connect on a more friendly personal level. What? Oh, I'm just trying out some techniques I read in an audiobook. Are you riding an old man on rollerblades? Yes. The elderly are great cheap labor. The roller skates are pure efficiency. Isn't this terribly demeaning for the guy? Not when you can't remember your own name. Can I buy some space dust now? I think I've gone through enough. Well, if you have a thousand cruise marks, I can give you the token for the vending machine over there. Oh my word. I don't have the cash for that. Also, token? Super fun, cool, drug enthusiast drug tokens. The official currency for the vending machine. No space dust for you. But... Tough biddies. I'm sure we can come to an understanding. What does that wink mean? I don't know. I saw it in a movie once. Thought it might work. Nope. Is there uh, anything else I can do? All right. No one ever buys from me anyway, so I'll play you for it. Yes? If you can beat my game's high score, I'll give you a super fun, cool drug enthusiast drug token. Uh, what game is that? Prepare your body. It's the most brutal, unforgiving game ever developed. An underground classic sought by collectors everywhere. Behold! <laughs> Damn it, it's not working. Hold on. God damn piece of shit ruining my finely crafted atmosphere. I'm never buying floor stock again. Activate cartridge blow. What is it about? Try it for yourself. Grab that controller over there. Oh, dude, gross. This controller is all sticky and only leads to one side. I can't play with this. That's what C said. <laughs> Isn't it she said? <laughs> Yeah, and my online comedian degree is a scam. Who thought you could get full-fledged degrees in three days and only at the price of full control of my life insurance? Bargain. Next week is a Seamfield masterclass. Anyway, 
you're stuck with the guest controller. Deal with it. Oh man, I can't deal with this. I'll need another controller. I'm already using it. Uh, uh, uh. I guess it could be handy. It's like it's staring into my soul. You know that it's polite to take someone on a date before you start looking into their soul. People used to live there, then rats infested the place. Then mutated rats took over, and then eventually the rent got too high and they had to leave too. I guess only controllers are such bullshit. Hey, drug dealer, there's your self-respect on the roof. What? Let's play this thing. All right, let's...
Oh yes, I boosted the hell out of those thugs. Yeah, you did pretty well. Only 34,123 levels to go. What? Really? I don't have time for this. I have actual stuff to do. I don't believe you. Uh, true. Still. Still, no space dust. I'm Altis. Psst. I think I can help you be boosting thugs. Yeah? Legends say that there is a mythical code to beat any Mega Bro game. Like a Konami code? For legal reasons, no. Well, how can I get it? It's said to be lost to time and space. Forever. Yeah, sick. That's great help. Let me finish, Jesus! There are whisperings that it can be found lost in electromagnetic waves. Thanks, I think. Thanks for the helpful insights on how to solve this mystery. Why are you helping me get free space dust? I just really hate the drug dealer, to be honest. 